वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वे आर स्टडी द सब्जेक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन विच वे आर स्टडिंग द टॉपिक कास्टिंग प्रोसेस एंड इन कास्टिंग प्रोसेस वे आर स्टडिंग द ग्रेविटी कास्टिंग परमानेंट मोल्ड मोल्ड कास्टिंग नॉन फेरस मेटल्स जिंक कॉपर एल्युमिनियम लीड मैग्नेशियम टीन अलाइज एप्लीकेशन कार्बोरेटर्स बॉडीज ऑयल पंप बॉडीज पिस्टन्स यूज फॉर लार्ज यूज फॉर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ कास्टिंग परमानेंट मोल्ड इज मेड अप ऑफ हीट रेजिस्टिंग कास्ट आयन आला स्टील ग्राफाइट पोरिंग कप पर राइजर आर मेड इन द इन दिस मोल्ड इट सेल्फ itself first the mold is preheated refractory coating by spraying or brushing protects from erosion and sticking molten metal is fed into the mold by gravitational force this is shown in the figure as below the hydraulic cylinder to open and close mold movable mold section spray nozzle stationary mold section such that the cross are in inserted and mold is closed molten metal is poured into the mold where the it solidifies it solidifies this is shown in figure continuous casting continuous casting next topic is continuous casting in which long vertical mold made of copper brass and or graphite water cooled mold molten immediately solidified so or oxy acetylene flame is used to cut the casting of required length x ray unit controls the pouring rate of molten metal from ladle lubricating oil is supplied is applied between casting and mold wall to reduce friction argon gas applied on the top of the mold to prevent the atmospheric reaction the guide rolls at bottom keep on pulling the casting so much so match so it will be match with the cooling rate by, by controlling the cooling rate the grain size and structure of metal can be regulated application rods pipes slabs bars etc carbon dioxide co2 process in this process the sand molding mixture is hardened by blowing gas over over the mold carbon dioxide molding deliver great accuracy in production suitable proportions of silica and magnesium silica and silica sand and sodium silicate binder 3 to 5% are mixed addition of additives aluminum oxide molasses placing the of the pattern in the drag box parting sand sprinkled into on the pattern surface filling the sand mixture and ramming placing spur riser spin etc passing the co2 gas through vent holes sodium silicate reacts with carbon oxide carbon dioxide gas to form silica gate gel 
that binds the sand particles together remove of spur riser and pattern advantages and disadvantages of carbon dioxide co2 process is given the diagram shows vent hole co2 gas passes through the hole pattern is given below the vent hole Na2CaSiO3 plus CO2 is equal to Na2CO3 plus SiO2. This reaction takes place in the pattern in the casting process. Advantages: good surface finish, finish high production runs. Disadvantages: poor collapsibility, over gassing affect the property of sand. centrifugal casting now we will see the we will see the centrifugal casting centrifugal casting in this diagram it is shown top rollers mold casting molten metal pours ladle is given bottom rollers motor casting pour basin pouring basin is given finished casting product is given in the figure centrifugal casting sometimes called roto casting is a is a metal casting process that uses centrifugal force to form cylindrical parts this differs from most metal casting processes which are used gravity or pressure to fill the mold in centrifugal casting the permanent mold made from steel cast iron or graphite is typically used use of expandable expandable sand molds is also possible now we will see the centrifugal casting in centrifugal casting slide view of rotating parts is given drive roller roller support or free roller is given mold is given in this process front view of casting process is given pipe being cast mold water jacket pouring basin is given this is the diagram of centrifugal casting mold preparation the wall of the cylinder mold are first coated with a refractory ceramic coating which involves a step which involves a few steps application rotation drying and baking once prepared and secured the mold is rotated about its axis at high speed 300 to 3000 rpm typically around 1000 rpm pouring molten metal is poured directly into the rotating mold without the use of runner or a gating system the centrifugal force drives the material towards the mold wall as the cold mold fills fills cooling with all the molten metal in the mold the mold remains spinning as the metal cools cooling begins quickly at the mold walls and proceeds inwards casting removal after the casting has cooled and solidified the rotation is stopped and the casting can be removed finishing while the centrifugal force drives the dense metal the dense metal to molds walls any less dense impurities or bubbles flow to the inner surface of the casting as a result secondary process such as machining grinding or sand blasting are required to clean the smooth and to clean and smooth the inner diameter of the part this is the process of 
centrifugal casting we have seen here thank you